group is calling attention to the Madison hip hop scene, or rather, the lack thereof. Members of the group say some venues are avoiding booking artists in this genre as part of a greater issue of inequality in the area. They presented their argument to city council tonight. Amy Reed joins us now to explain what this group is hoping to see happen. Amy? Yeah, it may not be the first thing that you'd expect on a city council agenda, but this goes far beyond just one genre of music. This group is saying this inequity, inequity unfairly targets people of color hitting on hip hop, transportation, and simply the use of city government. But in the capitalistic district, they only limit us to fail. Whether you've seen it or not, down, material the Madison hip hop scene is alive. Racism, Lord help us, because this has got to get better. But it's not well, at least according to a new report, 10 years in the making. At least from an arts perspective, hip-hop didn't really feel included in the art scene. That's Rob least, Franklin. Yeah. You might have recognized him from those music videos. He's one of the leaders behind this report, outlining inequity in Madison that goes beyond music. Hip-hop is used in quotation marks, and, and I think when that is used, I think that's a way of substituting it for another thing. Like a masterpiece that's up in the hall. They address the misplaced stereotype this genre's concerts have for being violent and how it's blocked artists from local venues. And with hip hop as an example, they get into other issues, lack of late night public transportation or understanding of how to book city resources like parks and public venues. I don't say this to be mean, but a lot of times Madison gives lip service. They want to say that everything is okay and everything is cool and everything is grand. And it's like, for a lot of people, it's not. In the report, they call for solutions to fix those, namely a position within the mayor's office to specifically address equity in arts and entertainment. This is an issue that really increases people's quality of life. This is uh, an issue that increases people's ability to express themselves. Hip hop started on the streets and it, by people who didn't have a way to express themselves and tell their stories any other way. They're hoping to preserve that, and though both of them have made waves in their own careers, they're calling on the city to help create a larger conversation. We need to start having this dialogue and these conversations, and that's what the report is, is to start to have these conversations so we can start finding solutions together. This was the first introduction at City Council tonight, and we'll put the full report on our website for those of you that are interested in reading it. Amy Reed in the News Center tonight. Amy, thank you. Sure.